Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to compare and contrast the Food Saver external vacuum seal machine against a chamber model, the VacMaster VP215. Most of the chamber models work the same. Most of the external models work the same. So hopefully this will help you decide which of these models is right for you and explain the differences between the two. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. The two models we're going to be comparing are the Food Saver V3425 and the VacMaster VP215 chamber seal. First, let's start with the Food Saver external machine. All of your external machines, and especially the Food Savers, use these textured bags or roll material. You have to have the texture because it uses that to suck air out of the bag. Without the texture, it won't work. They vacuum seal by removing air from the inside of the bag and vacuum sealing the food that way. After they remove all the air, a seal bar comes up, melts the seal in the bag, and you're done. They work very good for dry goods and semi-moist products, not so much for really wet things like fish fillets or bloodier meat cuts, things of that nature. Uh, soups, stews, things like that, you're gonna have to freeze them before you vacuum seal them. But the external machines are nice because they're relatively inexpensive and you can get the bags and the roll material pretty much anywhere. Now while the machines themselves are relatively inexpensive, the roll material and the bags really aren't. You're going to pay a pretty good amount of money for the pouches that are textured or the roll material to make the pouches to your own sizes that are textured. Uh, not the end of the world, still better than a Ziploc bag, still less expensive than a Ziploc bag. But at the same time, if you use a lot of bags, if you do a lot of vacuum sealing, that may be a factor for you is how much the bags and roll materials are going to cost you over time. The food savers do a good job on dry good products. Like let's say you're going camping, hiking, backpacking, and you want to make sure that certain necessities are kept dry. You can vacuum seal just about anything in these. They do a good job of removing all of the air and make a really nice seal. So there you go, in just a few seconds, ready to go, so to speak. This particular model has roll material storage inside, so it gives you a place to put your roll material that you can make your custom bags with. To use it, you'd simply pull out however much bag material you need, cut it, close the lid and seal one in, hit the seal button, and you seal the first end of the bag. There you go. Then, of course, you just put whatever you want to vacuum seal inside the bag that you've made. And seal it up. It'll pull a nice tight vacuum on anything dry. As long as it doesn't puncture the bag, you're in good shape. You can vacuum seal virtually anything in these machines, as long as it's dry or pretty dry or pre-froze. There we go. All sealed up nice and tight. For when you're doing moist food, like meats, fish, that kind of thing, inside it has a little trap to catch water. If any water gets sucked out of the bag into the machine, this trap will catch it and hold up to a certain amount before it shuts the machine down. This has a little internal circuit. When that gets wet, it turns the light on to let you know that the food material is moist and that you need to clean this bar afterwards. This is removable, of course, for easy cleaning. The seal is replaceable and it's a good general purpose machine for most normal household sealing. So for general household vacuum sealing, the food savers do a good job on everything but the very moist food. They're relatively inexpensive. The bags can be a little expensive and pricey at times, but all around, they do a good job for the average home use. The chamber models are for people who do a lot of vacuum sealing. Those of us who hunt and fish might want to consider one of these machines. I do a lot of sealing of fish fillets right after they're caught, same day, they're very wet, and this machine does a great job. I don't have to worry about water getting sucked in the machine and messing something up or messing up the seal. It does a really good job for meats. It's also a heavy-duty machine. You're not going to worry about overheating this machine. It has a heavy-duty oil-filled motor. It is a heavy machine. This machine weighs in at about 85 pounds, so it's not something you're going to move around on your kitchen counter. It's going to pretty much go somewhere, and that's where it's going to stay. The chamber models utilize non-textured chamber pouches. These bags are really inexpensive, literally just a few cents a piece. They're purchased by 250 count 
or 500 count or 1,000 count boxes. They come in all different sizes and shapes, and they don't require texture for this machine to work. Because this machine is evacuating the air out of the entire chamber, including the bag, I'm not sucking anything out of the bag, so I don't have to worry about texturing. I don't have to worry about water and moisture. It just does a great job. But what's really cool about it is, if I run out of bags for this machine on a Saturday, I can run down to the local Walmart, buy any of the textured stuff, and it works just fine in this machine. This machine has optional removable fill plates that allow you to put bigger items inside the machine. Uh, pork butts, large roasts, hindquarters if you're a hunter, will fit in this machine. I've done easily up to 10 pound bags of meat inside this machine with no problem and it'll do a lot more than that. The fill plates are there to take up extra air space and also for thinner foods it's a little bit easier on the bag to have it right here up against the seal bar. This vac master also has adjustments for the vacuum time and the seal time. So for thinner material you'll need less seal time. For thicker material you'll need more seal time. Also you can set the vacuum for more or less too. You may have foods that you want a little gentler vacuum on. Maybe you're doing a marinade or something and you don't want to pull it down too tight, you can set that time for a lot less and won't pull it down quite as hard. So it has an adjustability that's not available in an external vacuum seal machine. Now I'm going to be doing a little fishing this weekend with some live bait and I want to be able to keep the live bait cool but in salt water. And I don't want to put ice in it because it'll dilute the salt water with fresh water. Guess what I can do with a chamber model vacuum sealer? I'm going to place this bag of water inside this chamber machine. Straight up, regular tap water. Set the bag over the seal bar. Water will actually boil at low temperature once you place it under a vacuum. And that's what you're seeing in that bag. That bag's not getting hot, but the water's boiling. Seal bar comes up, seals the bag, lets the air back into the chamber, and we just vacuum sealed a bag of water. Not something most of you would want to do, but guess what? Soups stews, marinades, you can put anything you want inside this machine and it will vacuum seal it. Now there's only a couple of negatives for the VacMaster and other chamber model machines. The big one for me is they're very heavy. You're going to leave this machine pretty much wherever you put it. So you need to have counter space for it or garage or somewhere that you can put this machine to where you're not going to get a hernia every time you need to pull it out and vacuum seal something. The good news is it came with a plastic cover so I can pretty much leave this sitting in my garage and keep it covered, ready to use whenever I need it. Also, for those of you that might want something a little heavier duty, guess what? An outboard motor cover will fit this perfectly. The only other negative that I can think of for the external machines and the vac masters are they're expensive. These things run anywhere from uh, some of the Chinese models in the 400s all the way up to seven or eight hundred dollars or even more. VacMaster makes large commercial grade machines that can do multiple bags at a time, multiple chambers at a time. They've got some gigantic stuff that are literally $5,000, $6,000 and more. For the average consumer though, the VP215, if it's in your price range, is a fantastic machine. You can do a lot of putting up a meat. If you make your own sausage, if you do your own butchering at home, if you're a hobbyist for any of that stuff, look into a chamber model and consider spending the money. It's well worth it because the machine doesn't overheat, the bags are dirt cheap, and you never have to worry about any kind of moisture content. You can vacuum seal anything, quick and easy, and you're done. This is my third food saver. I wore out two of these things, burned them up, and this is my third. Now you can buy a lot of food savers for $700, but I never have to worry about this breaking on me on a Saturday when I've got 30 pounds of fish fillets to put up. So which of these machines is right for you? If you're just a general use homeowner that's going to vacuum seal things once in a while, um, even a hunter or fisherman that does hunting and fishing once in a while, the food savers are a fine machine. They'll do everything you need it to do. You might have to pre-freeze some meat first, but it'll work just fine. The bag material is going to cost you more over time, but in the long run, it's probably the right machine for you. If you do a lot of vacuum sealing, if you're a amateur butcher at home, you make your own sausage like we do, uh, you do a lot of hunting and fishing and put up a lot of meat, put up a lot of soups and stews, consider spending the money on a chamber machine. The VAC Masters are the best in the business. I'll put a link to both of these machines in the description below. I got this from a place called the webstrontstore.com. I'll put a link to that down there. They have all the VAC Master stuff, all the accessories, all the bags. Great company to deal with. 
If you have any questions about either of these machines or just vacuum sealing in general, I've been doing this for over 20 years as a hunter and fisherman. Leave your question in the comments below and I'll answer them for you as best I can. I'll put a link in the cards up there to other videos featuring these vacuum sealers that you can check out. Give me that thumbs up like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.